in this video we'll be talking about the different types of dna there are many varieties of dna many models of dna that is being proposed by many scientists but in this video we'll try to condense them under a common uh, heading and we'll be seeing about some basic types of dna we'll be classifying the dna on two main topics number 1 on the basis of function and number 2 on the basis of number of base pairs per turn and the coiling how they coil whether clockwise or anti clockwise so on the basis of their function every dna can be classified into two categories number 1 the tropic dna and number 2 the genetic dna tropic dna as the name suggests we all know tropic level in the ecology when you are talking about an ecosystem when you are talking about an organism we always use this term called tropic level the position where it belongs to so what is the function they do at that particular level the ecological niche we call it in the scientific aspect in the same way the tropic dna controls all activities of the cell if you are talking about respiration digestion how assimilation is going to happen inside the cell energy production all these things are directly controlled by the tropic dna but it does not take part in reproduction it controls all activities except reproduction then who takes part of reproduction there comes the genetic dna the genetic dna does not do any of the activities except taking part in active reproduction so the only activity which the genetic dna takes part very uh, actively is the reproduction so to put it very simply the tropic dna is responsible for all activities except reproduction and the genetic dna is responsible only for reproduction now let us see an example of this now let us take paramecium we all know about this slipper shaped organism in that inside the paramecium you will be finding two different kinds of nucleus one a bigger in size which is called as the macronucleus and one which is very small which is called as the micronucleus the macronucleus contains the tropic dna and the micronucleus contains the genetic dna as i said earlier the macronucleus controls all activities except reproduction and the micronucleus does only the process of reproduction that is it takes part in reproduction so what happens here let us during reproduction and we all know paramecium are reproduces by a process called binary fission and it is a asexual reproduction and when binary fission is happening what happens is uh, the macronucleus completely disintegrates you will not be finding the macronucleus because it's just a tropic dna and the micronucleus splits into two and one goes to the upper part and the other part comes down and the cell completely gets divided so i repeat the macronucleus completely gets disintegrated the micronucleus gets split into two one half goes upwards and the other completely goes down and what happens as a result is the cell is split into two along with the uh, divided micronucleus so this is how the tropic dna and the genetic dna function now let us go into the second way in which the dna is classified on the basis of the number of base pairs per turn and coiling there are many different uh, models of dna that is proposed what we are seeing is a b dna the watson and crick model of dna is a b dna but apart from that there are other models as well for example there is a a dna b dna c dna d dna and an z dna so as per the a dna there are 11 base pairs in a turn so in one coil if you take there is not just 10 as we saw in the b b dna that is the watson and crick model there are 11 base pair and the coiling is always on the right if you look at the b dna which we already know we have seen it in a separate video as well that consists of 10 base pairs per turn c dna consists of 9.33 base pairs per turn which means in if i am going to talk about 10 turns together i'm going to talk about 10 turns so this is one turn if i'm going to talk this is one turn i'm sorry this is one turn like this if you want to consider 10 turns there is going to be a total of say 9.3 into 10 that is 93 base pairs are going to be there 
my so my dcdna contains 9.33 base pairs per one cell my ddna contains only 8 base pairs and if you look at is dna it consists of 12 base pairs so if you ask which is uh, containing more number of base pairs in these different models that is proposed it is very simply to be said as is dna and is dna is not only special for that if you look at the coiling we always saw the dna is always coiled on the right that means it is a clockwise coiling the only dna which is to be coiled on the anti clockwise direction is only the is dna other than that all the dnas are only coiled on the right side right side right side and right side so this is how the dna is being classified on the basis of function as trophic dna and genetic dna and on the basis of the number of base pairs per turn and the coiling and the z dna is the only dna which is anti clockwise in coiling